Good afternoon, good afternoon to all of y'all. Hope your day going good. Second upload of the day, you know, just leading up to the live for the night. But um, before I do my petty shit tonight, we're going to just do some little education. Now, I'm completely done listening to Drop, and, you know, I want to speak on the hepatitis, and I'm also going to speak on pancreatitis, because there seemed to be some confusion in my mind as to whether the gay spidey has hepatitis or whether he has pancreatitis, <clears throat> okay? So, you know, let me bore you guys for about a good five, ten minutes, you know, because I just feel like it. Now, hepatitis, seriously, is the inflammation of the liver, alcohol consumption, several health conditions, and some medications can all cause this condition. However, viral infections are the most common cause of hepatitis, okay? Now, in this article, we will detail the different types of hepatitis, their common symptoms, causes, and how to treat and prevent the condition. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis refers to an inflammatory condition of the liver. It is commonly the result of a viral infection, but there are other possible causes. This includes an autoimmune hep and hepatitis that occurs as a secondary result of medication drugs, toxins, and alcohol. Autoimmune hepatitis is a disease that occurs when your body makes antibodies against your liver tissue. Five main viral classifications of hep are hep A, B, C, D, and E. A, different virus, is responsible for each type of viral hep. Okay? Hep A is the result of an infection with the hepatitis A virus, HAV. This type of hep is an acute short term disease. Mind you, acute short term disease. Hep B causes hepatitis B, HBV. This is an ongoing chronic condition okay this is ongoing and it's chronic hep c comes from hep c virus hcv is among the most common bloodborne viral infection okay um and typically presents as a long-term condition currently living with chronic forms of hep 2.4 million americans Hep D, rare form of hepatitis that only occurs in conjunction with hepatitis B infection. The Hep D virus causes liver inflammation, like other strains, but a person cannot contract HDV without an existing HPB infection. Hep E, waterborne disease that results from exposure to hepatitis E. Hep E is mainly found in areas with poor sanitation and typically results from ingesting fecal matter that contains, that con contaminates water supply, okay? Now, like I say, Hep A, exposure to food or water. Hep B, in body fluids such as blood, vaginal secretions, or semen. C, uh, contact with HCV in body fluids, such as blood, vaginal secretions, or semen. D, contact with blood containing HDV. Or E, exposure to HEV in food and water. Okay. Common symptoms. If you are living with a chronic form of HEP like B and C, you may not show symptoms until the damage affects liver function, okay? 
By contrast, people with acute hepatitis may present with symptoms shortly after contracting hep virus. Fatigue, flu-like symptoms, dark urine, pale stool, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, that losing weight at a rapid pace, yellow skin, eyes, which may be a sign of jaundice. Now let's talk about pancreatitis. Okay, let's talk about that really, really quick. Really real, really real. Let me go back and feel my feel. Hold on. Give me a minute. Hold on. Now we're going to talk about pancreatitis. And this information comes from the Mayo Clinic. Oh, gay gay. You know, the Mayo Clinic is an awesome clinic. I mean, I even was able to go to the Mayo Clinic. You know, oh, <laughs> but you can't get there. My bad. Never mind. Let me carry on. Pancreatitis. This is the, the what we're talking about. This is what the gay spidey claims he's suffering from. This is what UTG said she didn't even know what pancreatitis is then turned around and said that her family member died from pancreatitis last, what, last year? But you didn't know what it was. You didn't know what Gay Gay had. I mean, going back to first, you said he did have HIV. Then you said he don't have HIV. And now, like, the other night, you said he do have HIV. Whatever, okay? But, and since I'm on that, since you said someone that you knew died, pancreatitis um can pancreatitis kill you let's see pancreatitis has the potential to be life-threatening and some severe cases have been fatal most people recover from acute cases of pancreatitis within three to ten days so gay gay most people recover from your pancreatitis, which is inflammation of your pancreas, within three to 10 days. But not getting proper treatment could lead to chronic pancreatitis, which in turn can lead to pancreatic cancer. Now we do know that cancer does have that capability of killing you. As a matter of fact, it will kill you, okay? So you cannot die from pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is not fatal. So while people are on here talking about, is I'm about to die, man, fool, man. No, you're not. Unless you have pancreatic cancer. So, you know, can you be a little bit more specific? Is it pancreatitis, which is not fatal? It's a motherfucker. It hurt like a motherfucker, yeah. But it won't kill you. Okay? So I don't know who fugly, what your family member last year passed from, pancreatitis. You know, what you didn't know what it was. Okay, but let me go back to pancreatitis. Now, it is an inflammation of the pancreas. The pancreas, you guys know, is a long, flat gland that sits tucked right behind the stomach in the upper abdomen. The pancreas produces enzymes that help digestion and hormones that help regulate the way your blood processes sugar. Pancreatitis can occur as acute, meaning it appears suddenly and lasts for days. Some people develop chronic pancreatitis, which is pancreatitis that occurs over many years. Okay. Mild cases of pancreatitis improve with treatment, but severe cases can cause life-threatening complications. The symptoms, upper ab pain, abdominal pain that radiates to your back, tenderness when touching the, butt, the abdomen, fever, rapid pulse, nausea, vomiting, chronic pancreatitis, upper abdominal pain, 
abdominal pain that feels worse after eating, losing weight without trying, oily, smelly stool. So you got oily booty from time to time? Gay gay? You get that oily booty? That oily boo boo? I'm just asking. Um, let's go through the causes real quick. <clears throat> when repeated bouts of acute pancreatitis, damage to the pancreas can occur and lead to chronic pancreatitis. Scar tissue may form in the pancreas, causing loss of function. A poorly functioned pan pancreas can cause digestion problems and diabetes. Some of these conditions can be gallstone that can lead to pancreatitis, I'm sorry. Gallstone, alcoholism, certain medications, high triglyceride levels, high calcium levels in the blood, pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, hmm. abdominal surgery, cystic fibrosis, infection, injury to the abdomen, obesity, which we know that is not it, and trauma. An endoscop retrograde cephalogram, whatever, a procedure used to treat gallstones can lead to pancreatitis. And sometimes the cause of pancreatitis is never found. This is known as idiopathic, okay? Factors that increase your risk of pancreatitis, excessive alcohol consumption, cigarette smoking, obesity, diabetes, or family history of pancreatitis. Complications, kidney failure, breathing problems, infection, pseudocysts, malnutrition, diabetes, and again, pancreatic cancer. Now, I don't care about your diagnosis, nor do I care about your treatment, because clearly, like I said, it's forever. Fuck you. And do I seem like an asshole by being such a bitch right now? No, because like I said, when it's fuck my grandson, it's forever. Fuck you. Um, It would be a great day in my life, because right now, you're just a waste of space, you and your no-good-ass wife. But just to clear up any misconceptions of those people who may think that either he has pancreatitis, which, again, is not a life-threatening situation. It can lead to it if you don't get proper treatment, like, say, get to proper specialists, doctors who really know how to deal with, let's say, the pancreas. It's the same thing with me. When you stay local, you don't get that that help you need sometimes you have to go out of your state to find those right doctors that are willing to listen to you and do the right fucking thing but the most important thing is that you definitely need to have a spouse or someone that really loves you that will be willing to get up at three o'clock in the morning and take you three four hours away So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm going to be a little petty and I'm going to petty myself right now. All the shit that was said about me, gay gay, with my suicide attempts, with this shit bag that you like to make fun of that you may not be hmm, if you have some issues going on. If you're not dead, you may meet one of these pouches one day. I'm just saying. But I'm still here, bro. And I'm healthy. And I'm not in pain today. So hashtag rich life. Because I woke up fabulous this morning. So hashtag that rich life where I woke up fabulous, fucking goddammit. Because like I said, I'm happy. My husband loves me. And respects me. Shit bag and all. And he did get up on those days, dead of fucking winter, to drive me three and a half hours away so that I could find the right doctors to save his life, my life. The person that he took vows for, richer and poor, but most importantly, 
sickness and in health. So that's my preach for today. I hope before you meet your maker, my nigga, you make peace with yourself. But clearly, I don't give a fuck whether you do. I hope everything that you've done and everything you said about everybody, including my child, my grandbaby, I hope it fucking follows you and haunts you for the rest of your days and in the afterlife since you're so afraid to die. One thing about me, I embrace that shit. When it happens, it happens. I'm not afraid. Like I said, make peace with yourself, my nigga. And you won't be so scared when it's time. Okay? Okay. So y'all have a great day. Peace and love, peace and love. Y'all have a great one. And I'll see y'all tonight. Peace.